Guys, in today's session, we'll see how to post an invoice right, guys, without in a purchase order session, in SAP uh, S4 HANA we'll system. We'll uh, see how to post so that that an invoice to supply for invoice PO. processing group and create supply invoice, invoice app without there. a purchase order. And we'll we need to, to supply click it. invoice processing and we'll select the supplier invoice. Once the form is uh, visible, we can see here. the transaction type and is uh, invoice. In, in create and, uh, supplier we invoice need to uh, select form. the company code. We can in input the information uh, regarding the invoice. Uh, which includes the whatever the code, code which is code when we are receiving our case invoice against the uh, then against we can also the company the we need to select the company for example invoice date the, then there are various fields like invoice date posting date and the reference number uh, to the supplier invoice and gross invoice posting amount date. is also selected so in invoice party the supplier name must be selected we can see various uh, tabs there. We can input the gross invoice amount there. Okay, once it's there, then the reference field is also mandatory. We can input a reference number. Okay, this is a trip, uh, trip invoice or a, an expense invoice. Then we need to select a supplier from where we receive the invoice okay here is the supplier we will select the supplier when supplier is selected GL account, I, uh, we can uh, select the tab GL account item. We can add a new line here and uh, we can select a GL account. So this is an expense account, travel expenses, and uh, so expenses are debited here, and uh, supplier will be credited. So the amount and we'll enter the relevant amount here for the invoice. Then we'll expand the line details. There is a text code as well involved here. We, we need to input a V1 text code here. Whatever the percentage of uh, taxes are, you can uh, select the relevant value. So here it is 19% input tax domestic. V1 code. Company code is automatically picked up from the header itself. We need to enter the cost center then. It is sales. need to enter a second line as well the second line is also debit entry we need to again uh, select a GL account here and it also need to be an expense of expense nature so again, travel expenses. 
and uh, the amount need to be entered which is 500 euro in our case and uh, again tax code and cost center need to be entered for the second line as well so in the more details we can and we can enter the v1 tax code so in the cost center we need to select the corresponding number This is the overall view. The payment tab is shown here. Payment terms are entered, and baseline payment uh, date is has to be selected. Then we can simulate the invoice. So it shows us if there are any errors before posting the invoice. So it looks everything is, is fine so far so the total entries are as per here meals expense and then hotel and accommodation expense and tax entry we will uh, just post it the new supplier number has been assigned we will not uh, create another invoice here we will just select the no option okay that's it it has been posted we need to also update the payment terms of uh, the posted invoice We can search for manage supplier line items app in supplier account group. So basically in supplier accounts group, manage supplier line items app is available here. So then in the filters, we can enter our supplier. in order to filter the just posted invoice and uh, here the supplier is we will select and press the go button so that all the uh, invoices our line items related with this supplier will be visible for us and uh, here is the entry we need to select the payment terms and uh, It is in uh, you can select the company code here. So here is our entry, and we can. Uh, You can press the first line item in that line item so the fees are editable here uh, we can uh, select the payment term field the payment term field triple o one is the payment term payment method need to be also selected in item payment block 
need to be on center. So the payment method uh, field, we need to update the payment uh, method. We can uh, uh, we can show all and uh, to find our SIPA credit transfer. So this is the relevant value which we need to enter here. And for item payment block, we need to select the manual. We can choose back to general general entry again and uh, we can also add some notes as well to this entry that what we have updated need to be also recorded as as notes so we'll input some uh, you know updated payment terms uh, That's it. Uh, we have done the required changes to a posted entry, which is payment terms, payment methods. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you very much.